Hi, this is Michael with Iconesis. Today we'll be doing a real-time workflow video shooting sunglasses in 360. I've connected my camera via USB. Uh, as you can see, this is a real-time preview of what our camera sees with my hand going back and forth in front of the camera. Uh, we're working with our medium USB turntable, 360 acrylic riser, and LumiPad 360 lighting setup. Uh, first thing that we'll notice here is that uh, our product is a bit underexposed, so what we want to start doing is making adjustments to our camera settings to optimize for our lighting environment. Uh, users have full control of our shutter aperture, white balance, and sensitization. Uh, that looks pretty color accurate, so I'm going to proceed with that. The next thing that we can do is just inspect a focal point. I'm going to zoom nice and up close and uh, make some small adjustments to my focal point just to bring everything back into focus, which looks quite good there. Uh, the settings for my camera as well as my focal point will remain fixed for every single uh, image shot in the 360 sequence. We will proceed into the pre-rotate mode. So I click the 360 button in the top right. Visually in this step what we want to do is ensure that our object is spinning uh, on axis. That means in the center of the turntable. The next thing that we wish to do here is to uh, also adjust our crop marker. We don't need to shoot everything that we see inside the frame. So this rectangle that I defined in the live view window is our pre-crop, meaning that everything that we shoot when the pre-crop is defined will be what's captured. Um, so we won't have to capture again the entire frame. So it looks like we've done a good job at positioning our object and as our object turns 360 it looks good like it's not going to fall outside the cropped area. So what we're going to want to do pardon that was a little bit premature uh, what we're going to want to do is stop our turntable at our first shooting angle let me just move our crop in just a tad okay so this looks quite good here I'm going to select the number of frames users can shoot from 8 up to 72 frames now we typically suggest about 24 or 36 and I will shoot 24 for the purpose of this demo now the image capture sequence is going to be completely automated in a turn stop snap workflow. Our turntable is connected via USB to our computer. Again, our camera is connected via USB to our computer and simply hit start and that will automate the imaging sequence. Okay, so we're nearing completion of our 360 image capture. That whole process took about, uh, about two minutes for the 24 frames. Uh, we can see there 360 image capture complete. I'm going to batch select all my images and enter into our editing tool. Um, inside of our editing tool, we're not quite on a pure white background. We're extremely close. Um, but what I want to do is uh, make some small adjustments to achieve that pure white background. So we do have full control over our levels. Adjustment. So maybe we'll take this to about 2. Let's do about 240. That's going to adjust the, the white color and then I'll add a little bit of contrast back into our object and I'll slightly increase our sharpness and the nice thing about these batch edits is I can hit apply to all and in a batch process it's going to race through and edit every single image in the set Okay, so we've completed our image editing process. Now we simply want to output the set of images here. So I'm just going to call this sunglasses. I'll put a dash. It's going to batch rename them 0, 1 through 24. Users also do have full control over the size. So I'm going to also choose to batch output these at 1,000 pixels wide. Uh, you can see we're saving to whatever location we've defined. Um, and users can adjust resolution, add a watermark to their product images, as well as transfer directly to an FTP. Okay, so we've just output and renamed and resized our batch set of images. Uh, simply from here, let's go and open up our 360 View Creator application that's included with the Shutterstream software. So I'm just going to drag and drop this set of 24 frames again inside of the 360 View Creator application. And that is going to automatically compose the frames into a 360 interactive product view. Output is an HTML5 format. These are all user interactive, as you can see me dragging left and right. 
Users can also choose to deep zoom as well as customize the 360 button, player style, and uh, spin rate. So I'll simply out uh, rename my file, I'll just call it sunglasses, we'll hit save, and in just a few seconds we have our web ready 360 product view. We'll take a look and inspect that folder and we'll view the, uh, the file in a, uh, in a web browser and you can see right here this is the, the 360 view that we created. Should you have any questions please let us know. Thanks.